Peace and blessings, beloved. This is Ask Mama Wanda. So, I want to shift gears just a little bit, but it's really in the same vein of discussion. Um, Oftentimes, in the readings that I do, those who are requesting from Mama Wanda an inquiry as to how they can transcend a challenge in a given area of life, such as finances and health and relationship and career and work life, right? You know, everything really starts with a thought. Years ago, Spirit brought me or brought to me this book. And I actually have, I don't say I have an extensive library, but I say I have a library of information from scholars and spiritual teachers dating back to the 1800s. And so just recently, I came across a book in my library, wasn't looking, but it stood out, so I picked it up. And then, as I navigate some opportunities, because I say, I don't say challenges, I say opportunities, I'm reminded of the information that this this book provides. You see, There's a solution for everything. And there are divine signs. Yeah, the divine is working all the time. So let me get to it. Y'all will get to know me as time goes by. So here's the deal. When people ask Mama Wanda for, for clarity and confirmation on any area of life, one of the things that I want to remind you of is Our thought life. Our thought life. The bottom line is, is anytime, you know, I'm preparing to do a counsel or reading with someone, eh, I do a little research about that individual. I'm not asking you any questions other than the day you were born, the time you were born, where you were born in the world. And from that information, the divine has made me aware of tools and resources, okay? Ancient tools and resources that I can draw from. And the bottom line is understanding how you are spiritually wired. Yes. Because here's the deal. When you are born into this planet, is it not true that we're each raised by our families and by the impressions of the world mostly because of the images that we see, the things we hear. I think from the age of zero to seven, most of your major beliefs as a child are embedded Mm -hmm. and you're operating from these recordings, okay? These conditionings. You're taught and learned how to operate your physical vessel, your physical avatar, You're taught how to use your physical um, sight, seeing, smelling, touching, hearing. You understand? But you're not raised to understand how to operate your spiritual senses. Clairvoyance, clairaudient, clairsentient, claircognizant. Some of y'all ain't never heard of the clairs except for clairvoyance. And you may have your own interpretation of that. And you might even be scared of that idea. But the bottom line is you're a spiritual being, baby. Okay? And that's where spiritual awakening begins to occur when you realize you this is there's more to life than going on. And that as you operate in that physical body, you open up to your gifts. Some children are born. All of us are born. Not just as the physical avatar, but the beautiful spirit. A replica, a replica, a drop 
You are an essence of that that created the whole universe. Let's sit there for a minute. Can you get your head wrapped around it? Which is beyond what we're told when you come out the womb. You're told how to think. You're told who you are. You're told what to do. You're a walking masterpiece that hasn't even tapped into the computer or the coding of from the creator. So thought, let's go to thought. So the law of mentalism, right? Uh, I was just talking to a family member and her son, my nephew, is young in college age and having challenges. He feels like he should be far along than he should and da 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 da. And a lot of that sounds like comparing himself to the outside world as opposed to recognizing the beauty of the gift that he is encoded with. So now my sister and I, we both agree that there is a God. But we have different paths that we walk with regard to the structure of religion. And uh, I don't walk the path of religion. I, I, it is a foundation. It has been. I walk the path of awareness that there is a creator that created all that there is. <laughs> and I listen to that creator all the time. And I'm shown through divine signs where creator is in my life. I trust and believe without a doubt. And that's being in a world of polarity. Yeah. I trust in the idea of the lightness and love of creator more than the darkness of the adversarial energies. That exactly. That's where I'm at. So I was telling my sister about this book, the law of mentalism and the, it's about the power of thought. Hmm. The opening of this book, look, it says, I hold it true that thoughts are things endowed with bodies, breath, and wings. Ooh, this is a poem. I think that the author wrote. It says, I hold it true that thoughts are things in body. Oh, let me repeat. I hold it true that thoughts are things endowed with bodies, breath, and wings, and that we send forth to feel the world with good results or ill. That which we call our secret thought speed to the earth's remotest spot and leaves its blessings or its woes like tracks behind it as it goes. We awaken in another just the thoughts our minds contain. If we're kind, we win their kindness. If we hate, they hate again. We pass on to brother mortals the vibrations of the soul and the knowing ones receive them as they search from pole to pole. We build our futures thought by thought or good or bad. And now it's not. Yet so the universe is wrought. Thought is another name for fate. Choose then thy destiny and wait. For love brings love and hate brings hate. Beloved, your thoughts. The law of mentalism. Mentalism is a power or force so subtle and yet so potential that to measure its breadth and depth and to ascertain all its uses and purposes would require more years than are allotted to man on this earth. It is the source of all intelligence, of all physical, social, mental, spiritual, scientific, artistic, and mechanical achievement and advancement. So I'm going to share with you, because I shared with my sister this book to share with her son. Mentalism is the harmonious action of the three most powerful faculties in our mental organization. The first being thought, the second etheric energy, and the third is will. I think I'm going to continue and create a series. Check the comments for my reply video for the next sharing. Peace and blessings. Unwind that mind.